I just got Bill the Dread lore story explains. Go to video. It is seen as the Ow, my ears! I believe to be the ancestor of the Drakes or lesser dragons. Bale's rebellious nature made him a figure both feared and despised by dragons. Oh my. According to the dragon communion priestess, Bale is the father of all drakes, the oldest and vilest of all. He's the daddy dragon? Okay, cool. And he looks kind of cool. I'm going to be honest with you, though. Long ago, Bale betrayed the dragon lord Placidusax in a brutal confrontation that uh -oh. resulted in mutual grievous injuries. Bale inflicted a severe... Hey, dragon lord, oh, you, you, your time is up. Before being forced to retreat. Oh, yeah. Cementing his status as oh, yeah. an enemy. Dragon lord, your time is up. That landed in a stalemate, leaving both dragons severely wounded. Bale lost both wings, hand, and his leg, fleeing to the land of shadows. The man lost everything. Placidusax lost two of his heads, which can still be seen on Bale's neck. This man got the collector's heads on his back. Oh, sorry, on his neck. Located southeast of Castle Frontside of Grace, Elder's Hovel is a rundown cabin where a spirit can be found saying, Oh, Bale, Tyrant Drake, do your wounds... Drake? Break? Is your fury still yet to crest its zenith? Hurry, hurry and lay it all to waste. Lay waste to the proud, the conceited, each every last one of that arrogant lot. This suggests Bale has a desire to lay waste to those perceived as arrogant or conceited. Oh wow, okay. This battle, He's on demon time! Bale's mounting frustration with Placidusax's order, and because Placidusax's god fled him, does Bale believe he is a rightful ruler? What we do know is that the fight was won for the ages. Oh snap. Listen, I got my money on Bale. Uh, Dragon Lord, your time is up. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, your oh yeah, your time is up. Oh yeah, his time is up. Bale the dread, the tarnish must overcome insurmountable odds, battling drakes and dragons that guard the path to the vilest of them all. Along the way, the tarnish encounter Egon, a man in agony, obsessed with Bale. Egon's pain and suffering reveal his desire for one thing: revenge. Oh. Menace. Uh, the pain. The pain. My arms, my legs, each lies a bloody ruin. <laughs> bail, vile bail. You want to talk it out? in me yet I will soon feast upon your heart mark my words you too shall know fear and hey, he's standing on business yeah bro stand on the business continues their journey to jagged peak they encounter the ancient dragon man a former dragon communion warrior he wields a katana and moves with agility and precision Upon defeating him, the Tarnish receives the Dragon Hunter's Great Katana. Oh, snap. Former a Dragon Communion Warrior, the Ancient Dragon Man was once Arbiter of those worthy to devour the Dreaded One. As the Arbiter, the Ancient Dragon Man was responsible for determining which warriors were deserving of facing Bale the Dread. None of y'all. Except the dread for me, obviously. Where only the strongest and most capable warriors were allowed to partake in such a perilous endeavor. Before ascending the Jagged Peak, the Tarnish can visit the Grand Altar of Dragon Communion, where the Priestess, once an ancient dragon herself, now guides warriors in the fight against Bale, offering them a path to immense power through the ritual of Dragon Communion, specifically Wait. by consuming the Heart of Bale. Warrior truth. Picture yourself. Feasting upon a dragon's that doesn't sound good at all. It would be the purest form of communion. The fullest sating of your hunger and your consummation as a dragon. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> nope. Do not partake. 
There you will find Bay, the oldest and vilest of all dragons. Landfowl warrior. Follow your desire and slay the foul beast. Devour its open heart. Oh, no. Okay, listen, we'll kill the guy, bro, but I'm not eating his heart. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, Placidus. Oh, didn't he just get beat? Consuming Bale's heart as a path to obtaining a heightened state of existence akin to embodying a full dragon. This communion goes beyond gaining strength, transcending the limits of mortality. Oh, snap. We're turning Super Saiyan God. Drake! Just like me. Babes, you want to speak up? Because I... You Okay, can we just kill the guy already? Like, can we just kill this dragon? The Thank you. Like, the peak, they she was just yapping up a, a storm over there. Like, After let's defeat, kill this guy already. Appears once more, urging the tarnished to summon him for the final battle against Baal the Dread. Uh oh. True, if ever one there was. Oh, uh, thanks. A fellow Drake Warrior. I mean, I am a Drake Warrior. Thank you. Later, I know it's getting late. Do not remember. Conjure your past. How once you were. Okay, I understand, bro. Thanks. Thanks, bro. Okay. Drink warrior. Dear friend. What's up, man? Grant me this one wish. Okay, what's your wish? This finger, my finger. Scale the jagged peak. Face bail the dread. And when you do, summon me. Summon my soul. Okay. My heart is twice over filled with fear. But a Drake warrior, I remain. Okay, I got you. I got you. My soul yet lies on the mountain. Nice. I, I got you, bro. Don't worry. I got you. I will summon you. Once the finger of death. Drake warrior, Egon is now filled with fear and physically incapacitated. Despite this, he holds on to his identity and pride as a warrior. His request to be summoned by the Tarnish when facing Bale suggests that he still wishes to fulfill his duty and regain some sense of his former self. And by summoning Egon, the Tarnish can give him a chance to fight and reclaim his honor. Uh oh, I think it's that time. I think it's that time when we face the big, the, the big bad boss. I think it's that time. I'm gonna be honest with you. I may not be a rocket scientist, but I think it's that time. As the Tarnish ascends Jagged Peak, the environment grows more intense. Uh oh. Lightning more visible. Oh yeah. And at the mountain summit uh -oh. lies Bale, the dread. Yep, come down here. Come down here, I know. Where are you at? Y'all didn't see nothing. Y'all didn't see nothing. Drink the Kool-Aid. Drink the Kool-Aid. A single flower drink the Kool-Aid right now heart, symbolizing their sacrifice summoning Egon for the final battle he cries out yeah nice yeah yes you will you will rue the day come on bro Drake versus Kendrick you know the deal Kill him, kill him, kill him. Yes, yeah, stab him. Hey! Egon's helm and armor embodies nice. the spirit of a fractured Drake warrior. 
Nice. Let's go. By various scraps. This protective gear represents Egon's journey from battlefield scavenger to a warrior honored through dragon communion. I mean, been fine him for centuries. Remnants of fallen warriors and a loincloth bearing the stench of battle complete his attire. He wields a great bow crafted from two dragon bones bound with coarse rope, bearing scars from dragon claws. Okay. Egon's great bow is embodied by his obsession, amplifying the strength of his harpoon arrows. That's actually a nice like bow and arrow, I can't lie to you. Level stone pieces. Amidst his agony, Egon meticulously crafted each arrow to instill fear in Bale the Dread. Oh, Although I don't I don't think that's possible. Significant physical threat in the fight. Oh, bro, look at that bow and arrow. And bolstering the tarnisher's mental strength. Urging them to vanquish the power. The bow and arrow of death. Yep. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Move! 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 Man's a menace. Move out the way! Move out the way! Get out the way! This is not just some random dragon. This is the head honcho. Kill him. Foul dragon. Yep, drink the Kool-Aid. Do what you gotta do. You gotta hit the injured part. Yeah, yeah, hit that part right there. Where is it? Where he's injured. Bail the Dread inflicts fire and lightning damage, utilizing breath attacks that cover a majority of his arena. Hey, I would have beat this boss in my first try, just to be honest with you. Stomps and tail swipes, each requiring precise dodging to avoid. Defeating Bale demands embodying the truth. They're like, this boss is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Come on, give it one hit, 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 one hit. One hit. One hit. One hit. come on, one hit. Nice. Nice. You shall haunt me no longer. Hey, whoever the voice actor is, he, bro, he put his heart and soul into that performance. Reflecting on the battle, one wonders how formidable Bale would have been in his prime. Even crippled, he remained an extremely formidable. Oh no, he would have been a nuisance. I'm gonna be honest After with you. the battle, remnants of Egon serve as a testament to his sacrifice. Oh, Having we got the. He gave us the bow. Every ounce of his being. In the final fight, he has reclaimed his honor. Nice, man. Champion. Nice. Let's go, man. The Tarnish can now obtain Bale's tyranny. Harnesses the fearsome power of Bale the Dread. Channels the form of the Dread Dragon to emit a mighty roar accompanied by a heat wave burst causing violent eruptions of fire in the area. Even after being consumed, the throbbing heart of Bale continues to resist its subjugation, never weakening. One day, the fire within will consume the very body and soul of its communion devourer. One day, it reveals the peril of seeking power. The heart of Baal, even after being consumed, remains rebellious and powerful. A final warning indicating that the one who consumes Baal's heart will eventually be overtaken and destroyed by the very power they sought to control. Baal's legacy, marked by destruction and rebellion, is finally laid to rest. Uh-oh. Shout out to Dan Allen Gaming for these story explain Elder Ring boss videos. Um, really enjoy these videos, man. Uh, hey, that bail wasn't bail the dread. I can't lie to you, bro. I'm defeating that boss literally in one try. Um, that man has literally nothing on me. I'm taking him out in the first try, but that's just me, man. Uh, comment down below. What do you guys think about Bale the Dread? Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you though. In his prime, he might got me. Now, he, if he was like, you know, like 2013, like, like 2013 LeBron prime, whatever, I'm gonna be honest with you. It might take like, it might take like five deaths, you know, uh, you know, from me. But if I'm being honest with you, bro, this old cripple fool, um, bro, I'm taking this dragon down and, and like in the first try. But that's just me being honest. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, man. See you guys at the next time out. And.